right, so I got this really nice tree in my front yard. Really beautiful. I like it and everything. But every spring, uh, it starts to smell like Medusi outside. So I don't know if y'all know anything about trees or ever seen these trees or just probably walk by them, but um, every time they start to blossom, they turn beautiful white, but smell like Medusi. And that's something that I got to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Guests come over. They be walking inside. They're like... It smell like Badusi out here. I'm like, I know, it's the Badusi tree. What y'all don't know what Badusi is? It's butt, dick, and pussy. Just smacks you in the face as soon as you walk outside. Disgusting. <clears throat> Story time, bitch. All right, so I'm gonna tell y'all about my first fight. Now, I've been holding this one off because I try not to promote violence because, you know, I got children following me and shit, but y'all been asking for this one, so. Just remember, kids, violence is never the answer, okay? But, you know, sometimes somebody need to get that ass whooped, all right? Sometimes. So I'm in the 10th grade. This is the year right after I got expelled. I just got back into school, so I'm feeling like a badass, you know what I'm saying? Don't fuck with me because I'll stab you in the fucking face. That was my reputation. That wasn't really my reputation, but I had thought it was at the time, so. So, word on the street was that this boy Nate wanted to fight me. And I was like, you know what? Tell Nate, if he wants some beef, to say it to my fucking face, alright? So, later on, I get tagged in this Facebook status from Nate that said, Michael Corey is a bitch. Now, y'all know I'm not no bitch, right? So, I'm sitting there thinking, I was like, did I say, say it to my Facebook? Mm, close enough. We got beef now. I sit there and think, I'm like, you know what? I'm not even going to comment on it because I'm mature, right? So I'm not going to sit here and argue on the internet. Just know when I see you, it's on. But then people started liking the shit. Like I seen people start liking the Facebook status and I was like, nah, fuck that. You know what? I'm not no bitch. I'm going to comment back. That's what I did. I started commenting, right? I was like, who the fuck? You th Hold up. Backspace. That's not intimidated enough. Caps lock. Who the fuck you think you talking to, bro? So, like, 176 comments later, we decided that we was going to meet on Saturday, and we was going to fight, right? So, for the next three days, I was just preparing myself, right? I was doing push-ups. I was boxing myself in the mirror, which is harder than it sounds. I was drinking raw eggs and shit. I thought I was Rocky. I don't know. So Saturday comes, I wake up in the morning, I was like, you've been training for this. You know what I'm saying? You know that feeling when you about to beat someone's ass? That's what I was feeling. Now, the fight wasn't until 2 o'clock, but I decided I was going to show up a little bit late. You know what I'm saying? Because I thought it was an intimidation factor. I thought it would scare him a little bit more if I was late. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh shit, he's running late to his own fight. Like, Michael's a savage. He don't give a fuck about nothing. He must, he mu he must be beating a lot of ass today. But that's not what happened. Uh, two o'clock came. I start getting a bunch of phone calls. They're like, uh, why you not here? It's two o'clock. Why you bitching out? Why you scared? So I'm like, bitch, I'm not scared. All right. I'm just running a little late. Okay. I've been beating a lot of ass today. Tell him he waited three days. He can wait three more minutes. So I show up to the fight and there's like 30 people there. I step out all fucking fearless. You know what I'm saying? I had a Justin Bieber haircut at the time. I flipped my hair. I was like, where's Nate? So I see him and I initiate the fight just like any 10th grader would initiate any fight. I called him a bitch and I pushed his ass. Now, uh, I was real small in the 10th grade, so he was like two times my size. So when I pushed him, he didn't really move. I just had to act tough and I stood there. I was like, what's up? Somebody was like, ding, ding, ding. And I just started swinging, right? And guys, I was small, but they called me stone hands, right? Heavy handed blows to the face, all right? started counting all my syllables with my hits. I was like, you fucking stupid bitch. Huh. Stupid was two syllables, but I counted in one because it was a strong hit. Like I said, he was bigger than me, so he tries using his size to an advantage. He tries tackling me, and he was bigger than me. So he tackled me, okay? Got on top of me, hit me in the face one time. Mop. And I was just thinking, oh, you done fucked up now. So I just kind of rolled him over and got on top of him as easy as that i don't know how i don't know what happened but i just did it i don't know i got on top of him started laying the stone hands again you know what i'm saying and everyone was like mike's a fucking savage everybody stop the fight mike's gonna kill him so they stopped the fight we stand up and he's all bleeding and shit and i was like what's up you done and like a damn warrior he was like no 
We started fighting again, and what I mean by that is I started beating his ass again, and everyone was like, oh my god, please, stop the fight, like, Mike's a fucking savage, oh my god. So yeah, that's about it, you know what I'm saying, I won my first fight, um, nobody wanted to fight me in high school after that, uh, cause they knew me by stone hands, you know what I'm saying, don't fuck with me, I and me and Nate were friends after that. On Monday, we was walking around in school together. Uh, we was like, it was just a joke. You know what I'm saying? Teacher was like, what happened, Nate? He was like, I fell down the stairs. Uh, the greatest part about this story is that there's a video. So, did y'all want to see that or? Yeah, I like the hands. I like Nate. The hands. tell you about the time I had to fight a dog a dog and I beat that bitch ass too somebody called Peter all right before y'all say anything keep in mind that this was self-defense okay I'm not out here just beating up people's dogs but this one in particular had to get the mittens all right, so I'm like 15 years old I just got this new puppy right Rottweiler puppy had him for like two weeks cute as hell you know what? here's a picture Aww. Now before y'all start jumping any crazy conclusions, that's not the dog I had to fight, okay? I fought a fully grown dog. I wouldn't fight a puppy. I'm not a fucking savage. Anyway, I'm like, I need to take my puppy for a little walk. You know what I'm saying? Give him some exercise and shit. Plus, I could probably attract some girls on the way, you know what I'm saying? Girls like cute puppies. On this walk and this random ass dog comes out the cut, like, runs up to us out of nowhere. Pokemon battle music starts to play and everything. It was like, a wild Labrador has appeared. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I'm just standing there all confused, looking around for this dog's owner. I look at the dog, I was like, uh, are you lost, bro? Uh, he didn't answer me, he don't speak English. This dog starts checking out my puppy, right? And everything's all cool until he tries to sniff my puppy's butt. And my mans was having no parts in that. So my puppy turned around so fast, like, he was not about to let no random ass, stinky pedophile retriever sniff up in his butt, okay? So now there's beef, right? Because my puppy just rejected this dog's booty play. So now they're just standing there staring at each other, sizing each other up, you know what I'm saying? Now my puppy was way smaller, right? Because it's a fully grown dog, but he's not no bitch, right? So he's standing there like, what's up, bro? What you want to do, cuz? I don't know what he says to piss this dog off, but he tries to attack my puppy, and I turn into Mama Bear protecting her little cub, right? I was like, no! So I yank my puppy behind me, and this demented-ass dog tries to lunge for my puppy, okay? Big mistake. I reach down, I was like, Nink! I snuffed this perverted pooch, right? He jumps back, he don't know what the hell just hit him. Now he's scared, but he still wants to fight my puppy, right? So he's keeping his distance and like walking circles around us. And I'm just standing in front of my precious puppy. Now my natural predator instincts start to kick in because I smell his fear, right? I start getting hyped. I start talking shit to this dog. A dog. I'm standing in the middle of the street squaring up with a dog right now. A dog. Okay? I don't give a fuck about nothing. Like, what's up, bitch? What's up? You want some more? Touch my puppy again. I'm gonna knock your bitch ass out. My puppy start talking shit too, right? He's looking between my legs like, what's up? Yeah, you heard him. Touch me again. He gonna knock your bitch ass out. At this point, the owner of the dog is finally outside, but he's not doing anything to defuse the situation. Like, he's kind of just standing there watching it all happen. Like, dude, control your dog. He was like, what am I supposed to do? I was like, uh, I don't know, grab him, maybe? That might help. Shit you not, this is exactly what this man does. He stands there, starts snapping his fingers, and goes, Do it, do it, do it. 
You know those parents that can't get control of their kids so they go get a leash for them? Yeah, well, that was this guy with his dog. Except he didn't have a fucking leash. Man, go grab your dog before I have to beat his ass. Oh, well, he finally grabs his dog. Everything's all cool, right? I start to walk away, and he's like, hey, man, your puppy's really cute. My, my puppy's really cute. My puppy almost got murdered, okay? My puppy's cute. Yeah, my puppy's gonna be real cute when he's a fully grown savage beast and I bring him back up here for a rematch with Dewey. Bet you grab your dog then. Yeah, uh, that's the story about how I had to fight a dog. Um, honestly, I think I'm a hero, okay? I'm out here saving puppies and shit, you know what I'm saying? You know what? Show the picture one. Show the fucking picture. Aww. He's so fucking cute. This is the hacker speaking. Uh, I'm gonna hack everybody that messaged me back. Uh, <laughs> Yo! Uh, I got my shit back. It was hacked, but they were pretty cool. They gave it back, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like, if you were messaging me last night and sent me some inappropriate pictures, that wasn't me. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, just a quick rundown of what happened last night. Uh... I cracked my phone, my phone screen all shattered, so that sucks. So I wake up to this cracked ass phone, go to check it, cut my fingers open and shit, and all my shit's locked out. My Twitter, my IG, my Snap, everything. So I figure out what's going on, I get on my Twitter, and like, everybody's like, oh, you got hacked. I'm like, oh my God, like, you right. So then all these girls start DMing me screenshots of them talking to me, Who's not me, by the way. And it's bad. Start freaking out, right? I'm like, change the passwords to everything. They got it. They got it all. I don't care if it was Neopets. Change my Neopets password. So luckily, Twitter and, and Instagram locked them out of my shit. Like, I don't know. I don't know how they knew, but they just locked them out. They was like, nope, I'm not over here, bro. Uh, Snapchat wasn't hip to that shit. Like, they didn't give a fuck about me. Uh... They straight just let them take my shit, and they added their phone number so I couldn't get it back. All right, so somebody links me to this dude, right? And they're like, message him. He's a hacker. He'll help you out. So I'm like, bet. Uh, he better fucking help me because I don't know what to do. So I start messaging this dude. I'm like, hey, bro, like, help me out. I got hacked. He's like, don't worry. I got you. I seen your videos. I'm the smartest dude you'll ever meet on the internet. The smartest dude on the internet. I'm messaging the smartest dude on the internet. I'm like... Yeah, okay, but, uh, but bet, let's see, let's see it. Okay. So he's like, yeah, I know how they did it. They went to this, uh, little website that all these hackers have. They search up your name on the database, and you'll get some hits, and they'll get your password. Most people use the same passwords for everything. I don't anymore, but most people do. So if you get a hit on this database, you basically, you got them. Like, I'm over here thinking hacking is difficult and shit. I thought you need, like, eight computers. I thought... You know, I, I don't know what you need. I'm not a hacker, but I thought it was serious. Turns out they hacked me with something as simple as a fucking Google search. Like, what the fuck? And, and started messaging my bitch. Not my bitches. Come on, man. I'm still trying to figure all this shit out, right? And the hacker messages me. His name is Eric. He was like, you're lucky your Twitter and IG got locked out, my nigga. I know it's him because he sent me proof. He sent me a screenshot of him from my account. So I'm like... Oh shit, this the guy, Eric! So I sent the screenshot to the dude that was on my side, you know? I got hackers and shit too. I was like, I don't care what you gotta do, bro. I don't care if I gotta pay you, make him pay. Like, I want everything. I want Eric's address. I want his damn mother's name. I'ma pull up on him tonight, bro. I don't care if I gotta buy a plane ticket, I'm doing it. I dude was like, don't worry, bro, I got you. I'ma message him, I'ma spook him a little bit. I was like, bet, spook him. Eric, Eric, really? Ten minutes later, my hacker messages me back, right? He's like, yo, capital L-O-L, this dude knows me. I'm like, what? He was like, don't even worry about it, bro. I'll talk to him. I'll get him to give you your shit back. I was like, what the fuck is going on right now, yo? How does he know you? He was like all smug. He was like, you really don't know who I am, huh? I was like, shit, apparently the smartest dude on the fucking internet. Goddamn. 
So yeah, that's what happened. I messaged the hacker. I was like, yo, so what's up? We cool? You know, what's what's going on, bro? You going you gonna give me my shit back or, or what? So he was like, yeah, bro, hop in this group chat, you know what I'm saying? Follow us all back and I'll give you your shit back. I was like, what you mean, Eric? All of us. There's more of you? Bro, there's like Eric, uh, uh, Calvin, fucking Zachary. They all in my shit messaging bitches. Uh, uh, what? So I'm talking to them now and like we on a conference call. Like they actually all pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? They was like, we was just bored, you know? I'm like, what the fuck? Y'all was just bored. That's not what me and my friends do when we're bored, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what y'all do for fun. So that's it, really. I mean, they was all pretty cool about it. He gave me my shit back, um, and I gave them all follow back. So we cool now. What's so crazy to me about this is I was watching a video on how to be hack-proof. Not even two days ago. I was like, you know, people might want to hack me now. I got some shit. It was like a 12 minute long video, right? I watched the whole thing and I was like, you know what? I, I don't need to, ain't nobody gonna wanna hack me anytime soon, you know what I'm saying? They was like, hey, but this is a pretty funny story though, you gotta admit, and I gotta admit. So you know what, here we are now, telling about it and shit. By the way, if anyone wants a follow back, uh, you ain't gotta hack me for it, you know what I'm saying? I, you can just ask. I just added my big toe to my touch ID just in case I'm ever in that scenario where I need to unlock my phone with my big toe. Mike, Mike, why would you need your big toe on your touch ID? When are you ever going to have to unlock your phone with your big toe? What if my arms fall off and I need to call the ambulance? Uh -huh. Y'all never thought of that, did you? Yeah, go add your big toe to your touch ID right now just in case your arms fall off and you need to call the ambulance. I'm just saying, you might find yourself in a scenario where you can't use your arms. What's your next best bet? Your big toe, baby! Oh, Mike, you know you can just say, hey, Siri, and she'll call the ambulance just in case you ever find yourself in that scenario where you don't have your arms. Uh, what the fuck would I want to do that for? Siri is a dumb bitch, and if I ever found myself in a scenario where I didn't have my arms, I would not trust her to call the ambulance for me. I'd be like, hey Siri, call the ambulance, I lost my arms. She'd be like, hmm, I don't know what you mean by call the ambulance, I lost my arms. But I could do a search for you. And then I would be dead. All because I didn't have my big toe on my touch ID. Gee, I really wish I would have listened to Mike Corey when he told me to have my big toe on my touch ID. Just in case I needed to call an ambulance and didn't have my arms. Oh Mike, that's what the emergency call is for. Okay, you got me. But what if I want to take a Snapchat? Hmm? I swear, if I ever find myself in a scenario where I lose my arms, I will have the most fire Snapchat story of all time. Yo, I got the most fire story to tell y'all. <laughs>